All right, so we talk about marketing to homeowners, potentially motivated sellers, right? We market in several different ways. We got signs, online ads, general social media, word of mouth, postcards, letters. In this case, we got a response to one of our text message marketing campaigns, which is really dope because we set this campaign out on Tuesday and now it's Friday and we're already going on an appointment. So, you know, we sent the initial text saying, hey, we want to buy your house. They responded, I'm interested. They called, we got on a call. Turns out it's actually the son selling the house on behalf of his mom who lost her husband and now she wants to sell. Now the last thing to do is see it. So we're gonna go check it out. Quick note for those of you out there trying to learn when we talk about motivated sellers. In this particular case, this is dope because we're attacking three different seller motivations, right? Out of state owner, the property is vacant, which is never good, right? Um, because it could deteriorate and it's not making any money if it's vacant. Oh, high equity, right? That means this property is damn near paid off. And then the other one was one parent passed away, so the mom wants to sell. But anyway, we gotta get access to this property. So we're gonna call the neighbor who has the key. Unfamiliar number. Hello? Hey, Eric, it's Arthur with uh, United Home Relief. Okay. Oh, yeah. for John? Yeah, exactly, for John. Uh, I just wanted to let you Bye. know that I'm headed over there. I'll be there in about 15 minutes, if that's cool. Okay. All right, here we are. What, neighbor opened it up for us, so let's check it out. Apparently it's three bedrooms, two baths. I can already see pulling up, it's a fixer upper. Like I was asking, he on the phone, he said like he's gonna list it in the fours. Kinda made me nervous, cause my numbers came in in like the 360s ARV, meaning all the way fixed up. And you could look right now, it's not ARV. Let's check out the inside though. You guys can tell already, yo, this is outdated. This tribal, I don't know what's happening here. You can just tell, it just needs to be Complete upgrade. I wanna say complete gut necessarily, but like, yo, all new cabinets, countertops, kitchen needs to upgrade. I'm like lost with this walk through. Let's go back. Cause like, so you walk in, most of the bedrooms over here. So you get the main bath, which is pretty spacious. You could go double vanity here. Yeah, you just, this just needs to upgrade. Back in the day, people loved like pink and blue tile for the bathroom gender reveal bathrooms. You might even get some yellow. Here's one bedroom in the front corner, two windows. I like yours with paint. These old school houses be having plenty of closets. Another bedroom, a little bigger, I guess. This would be considered just two regular bedrooms. I don't know if either of these is the master. Think about like this weird extra room. And they added an addition on the other side of this wall, which I'll show you in the third bedroom. We don't even like put an official offer yet on this. This isn't like our official walkthrough, like we bought it, but my mind is already working. Cause now you come over here and you have like this unused like corridor. And then this used to be the back door, but they enclosed this area and made it like a laundry room. Decent sized Florida home backyard. Take a quick look. Love that tree though. So we know what a full bathroom is. We know what a half bathroom is. They gotta come up with another number for whatever this is. This is like half, no, no, come on in. I don't care how close the lens is, they need to feel. <laughs> they need to have the nerve to squeeze a shower in this joint. We got garage action though. I'm already looking at it. We enclosed that. I'm seeing an amazing master suite. I think this is in a weird location, but master suite vibes. This is what it's like when we market uh, homeowners and try to convert them to sellers. Right? This is a motivated seller. Again, he was talking in the fours. I'm somewhere in the twos. Hopefully we can meet him somewhere, but all numbers aside, this is a good flip. So we're gonna run the numbers and check it out. And I'll keep you guys posted. Peace. All right, so I'm sure you guys are curious on how that deal went or that appointment went. Absolutely terrible. We got a ton of content with the property, but like I told you, we went into it and the guy lives in Chicago and he thinks that the property is worth 400,000, which he's absolutely right, but it's worth 400,000 after it's fixed up. Now here's the problem. Everyone's not a good buyer, right? Everyone's not your customer or client. This gentleman happens to be a general contractor. So he's under the assumption that he could fix the project up himself for $25,000, which not sure how much you guys know, but there's no way you're fixing that property for only $25,000 unless you're a contractor and you can do it essentially without paying yourself. So with that being said, he's like, I'm not taking any less than 375. Now I tried to negotiate. I even went as far as to show him, hey, we're not trying to lowball you. Here's 
literally the Zillow's estimate. So the way we do our numbers is that we'll take that 400 ARV after a pair value number and we'll multiply it times 0.75, right? Sometimes 0.8 if we wanna be generous and that's basically 75% or 80%, which means the remaining 20 or 25% is our profit margin. So that means that all we can spend is 80% of what it's worth. And then we start subtracting the work. So, you know, he and I agreed like, yo, this is a 50 or $60,000 project. So if you do 0.75 of 400, that's 300. And then you subtract 50K from that 60K, you get 250 or 240, which actually matched the Zillow amount that I sent him. So we were right in the ballpark. We made the right offer. You know, this person was just hard headed and seemed to think they can get 150,000 over. But I sent him a CMA report that shows, hey, here's all the properties that sold within a half mile in the last six months at 400,000. And here's what they look like. They're gorgeous. They're brand new, right? So I give him all the details. He still wasn't biting. He was a little hard headed, but that's the name of the game, right? Um, it just shows like we have to go on a certain amount of appointments just to get one property, but it's not a waste of time. We were able to go out and meet the neighbor. I learned a new area. I was able to brush up my negotiating skills. We were able to get some content. You're constantly doing a lot of work for nothing but then you're gonna strike and you're gonna be repaid for all that work that you put in. Stay tuned though, because people like this usually come back crawling because there's no way that he's gonna put that property on the market for 375 and get it sold. Like there's no shot, right? He's gonna have to come down on the price. And when he does, we'll be here waiting.